In our class today, we'll be looking at how to install and uh, set up HR schema in Oracle 19C. So these are the parameters that we'll be using, and uh, we'll call them when the time comes. And um, after the installation, we'll set up the pluggable database. That's the PDB one uh, for our exercise for today. So let's get started. Um, the installation file is expected to be in your C drive, OK? Have the installation file in your C drive, unzip it, give it a name, db underscore home. This installation file, OK? Unzip it into a file, into a folder, and name the folder db underscore home. So this is the file that we'll be using for installation. And then this is the setup. Right click the setup, run as admin, run as administrator. It will take some time, but you have to be patient. This is the um, where, where you collect the logs. <coughs> this is where you collect the logs, and then. Um, okay, so right click the setup, run as admin. If you do that, you have this. Okay, so we have two installation uh, procedures. You can create and configure a single instance database, or you can set up the software only. So I will go with the first one, create and configure a single database only. Next, you have database class. So we choose database class. We are not working with server process at the moment. We I mean a database class. Next. Now you have various options here, login options. You have a use virtual account, use existing window account, create new window user, uh, use window built-in account. So we are going to create new user based on the information that we have here. OK, the new user is Babcock. The password is Babcock, so we'll copy the Babcock, paste the Babcock here, paste also. So because this is not a production environment, there's nothing to secure. Okay, so let us make our uh, username and the password as simple as possible. Please, everybody, Babcock, Babcock, um, Babcock. Babcock username, Babcock password. Next. <coughs> Still there. OK, you have this. OK, the first one is Yoraku base. Yoraku base must be connected to the app so click this drop down pick the app app slash agusto the agusto is actually the name of the system so yours may be different and also make sure that your system name does not have space once it has a space it will throw an error at the bot at the bottom so you have um the option we're using is enterprise edition we're not using this uh, standard edition enterprise ed edition have all the features Please note down your global database name is ORCL. Okay, the password we're going to use this. We're going to use capital B for Babcock at one. Capital B for Babcock at one. Please, it's different from the window uh, parameters. Okay, this is the Oracle database, Oracle, Oracle global database uh, password. So go back to here and then I paste it here. I prefer copy and paste so that I don't make mistake in typing. And once there is a typo error, you may end up dropping the entire database because there's no how to regain the, okay, because this is the sys user. So if the user makes a mistake, it is, a, it is very difficult to correct. So we have this, so having done this, um, okay, the pluggable database name is ORCLPDB. ORCLPDB. So next, 
it will check yes so it will check if what has been equal it will ask you to do the installation but if all things are not equal you will be referred to probably one or two things to do before you commence the installation okay all things are equal so let us save our repository file click the repose file save yes because i've done installation before and then delete so this is a fresh installation there are some files that may have existed okay probably in our next class i will teach you how to uninstall oracle database 19c so install now so this will take a time so i may have to pause the video and then uh, revisit when the time comes okay you can see the progress is uh, about seven percent so let's monitor the progress